Hayden, the forecast is a look at the future. Let's go back in time. Millions of years ago, ancient animals roamed the land and the sea. Today, fossils of those marine animals are being uncovered, and UNF professor Dr. Barry Albright and a team from the Bureau of Land Management found fossils that are 94 million years old. Good morning, Dr. Albright. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Mitch. How did these discoveries unlock new evolutionary information? Well, first of all, mosasaurs are these large predatory marine reptiles, and they first show up in the fossil record around 95, 96 million years ago. At that point, they were still probably coastal, probably still had webbed limbs rather than paddles. They weren't fully marine adapted yet. So the one we found indicates that it was fully marine adapted. Not, it wasn't coming back on land, um, wasn't crawling around. It was probably you know, open ocean, fully marine adapted. And the way we were able to determine that is even though the, the specimens we found are just small bits and pieces, there were enough pieces of the skull to determine that the the circulatory system in the skull had already adapted, was already adapted for diving into, you know, diving deep. So it was already adapted to um, dealing with the pressures of being a fully marine adapted reptile. And here on our screen are some pictures of some of these fossils that you found. Uh, yep. they, they seem so small, so fine. Yeah. How were you able to really piece them together? Because I'm imagining that you did not split right. them apart. Right. So <laughs> it's a big jigsaw puzzle there to figure out truly what this mosasaur was like. Yeah, it was, we just found bits and pieces. We found a lot of vertebrae. We found, and these are all, what you're showing on the screen right now are all bits and pieces of the skull. But there was enough detail in these little bits and pieces to where we were able to reconstruct sort of the, um, the circulation of veins and arteries and even nerves through the skull to determine that this, this um, circuitry, this circulatory circuitry was already changed, had already changed for a fully marine adapted lifestyle. Uh, I should mention that Dr. Michael Polson uh, at SMU, Southern Methodist University, he is an expert on primitive early mosasaurs. So we brought, after the discovery, after the discovery in Southern Utah, we brought Dr. Polson in to actually analyze these little bits and pieces. That's, that's his thing. He's an expert on these early primitive mosasaurs. So, you know, even though they were just bits and pieces, he saw enough detail, enough anatomy in these bits and pieces to, um, to make these, uh, to make these um, assertions on the morphology, on the uh, evolution of, this early, of these uh, early mosasaurs. Let's get a little terrifying for a second. <laughs> if I was swimming in the ocean magically, you know, 90 million years meters, ago. Yeah. How big are these? What okay. damage could they do Great to question. an adult human? Great question. Back, the one we found was only probably six, seven, eight feet long. The earliest mosasaurs, 94, 95 million years ago, they started out small. They're actually marine adapted lizards. If you look at a Komodo dragon today or a monitor lizard, they're closely related to, to today's Komodo dragons and monitor lizards. They're just fully marine adapted. So they started out pretty small. Ours, again, is maybe four, five, six feet long, and some of the primitive ones that are maybe 92 million years old, a little younger than ours, are still pretty small. But through from about 92 million to 66 million years ago, when they went extinct, same time as the dinosaurs, they got larger and larger and larger to where some of the largest ones near the end of the age of dinosaurs, near the end of the Mesozoic era, were 40, 50 feet long. So they got, they got really big, and they were a top predator. So Swimming 94 million years ago might not be too dangerous, but swimming around, say, 70 million years ago when they were 40 feet long. It's like the T-Rex of the yeah, sea. Yeah, I would, <laughs> right, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't jump off a boat back and then. And this, this is the Mosasaur right behind us. This, this is the artist's this, rendering this is of what we This is an artist's reconstruction of the one we found, correct. And now, we've seen some images of you and your team out in Utah looking right. for these. We don't today think of Utah as marine exactly. habitat. What does that tell you about what the world was like at that time? Back 94 million years ago, <clears throat> the world was an entirely different place. Continents were in slightly different positions. There were no polar ice caps, so sea level was very high. There weren't any Rocky Mountains yet. So there was this big inland seaway that extended from the Gulf of Mexico through the middle of North America all the way to the Arctic Ocean. Okay, so the unit from which we found these fossils called the tropic shale, the geological unit is called the tropic shale. The tropic shale represents the muds that were laid down in that seaway, 
which bisected North America into eastern and western halves. In those muds, the tropic shale, they preserved the remains of the organisms that lived in that seaway. So that seaway existed from about, gosh, it, probably from, uh, I think it was, it was its widest at about 93, 94 million years ago, and it slowly shrank and dried up over the next 30 million years or so. That's fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we only have 30 seconds left. What's next for you? Uh, I'm going to head, I've been working in southern Utah for 25 years. Before moving to Jacksonville, I was curator of paleontology at the Museum of Northern Arizona in Flagstaff, so that's when I started working in southern Utah. I'm going to head back out there the middle of August to uh, continue our uh, to continue our pursuit of finding these these neat creatures. Well, the next big cool one you find, bring them on Absolutely. in. Absolutely, we'll, we'll do. See what they look. <laughs> we'll Dr. Do. Barry Albright from UNF, thank you very much for coming in. And Thanks we're a lot, back Rich. right after this. All righty.